and welcome back to Blondie Wood. Today is Vintage Vamp Friday. What does that mean? I decided that I might do a couple of videos here and there where I just focus on vintage vibes. So originally I was like, everyone's like, you're going to do tiki stuff because I'm such a tiki girl. And I thought about that and I thought that, well, that kind of jumps into vintage vibes because it kind of has that 60s, 50s, 60s whole thing going on. So vintage vibe Fridays, vintage vamp, vintage vamp Fridays. Get it right, girl. Welcome. How are you guys? Uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. You'll see a little pink B pop up on my screen. Click that and it will subscribe you to my channel. If you have any questions or just want to say hi, jump in my comments. Welcome back. What's been happening? So as you may know, I film in my studio apartment. It's super hot today. I can't have the AC on because I'm filming and it affects the sound. And so I may end up a sweaty mess by the end of this video, but hang in there. We'll do our best. Today, I wanted to show you guys one of my fave vintage hairstyles. There's a few different ways you can do a vintage style. Uh, the most common one being a wet set. So you would put your hair up in rollers and sleep in them. It is quite uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie, because the roller, if you pinch like one hair strand the wrong way, is gonna keep you up all night. Um, but I'll show you a couple of the rollers that I have that I have slept in. These ones are called soft rollers. They look like this. You can get them from Target or like the drugstore. Um, those ones are probably like the most comfortable to sleep in. Um, the other ones I have are these foam rollers. These ones aren't too bad to sleep in actually, they're quite squishy. Okay, things you will need to do this look. You will need a flat iron. This one I love. It's really great even if you've got kinky kinky curly hair, like this one is amazing. Uh, it is the Nano Titanium by Babyliss. Pro. It's been loved, you guys. The other thing you'll need are some duckbill. Okay. Also, you will need these little guys. Marcellus. Marcellus has come. He wants to be part of the video. Hi, buddy. Oh, you don't like that. That was Marcellus Wallace. He is a handful. He weighs 18 pounds. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have our clips. You all also want a comb. I left my combs, I think, in the trunk of my car and I couldn't be bothered going to get them. So this one's kind of been loved. It's missing a couple of teeth, but it's fine. For what we're doing, it's fine. So basically, you'll want to come in and figure out where you want to part your hair. I like to part mine to this side because it tends to fall that way. I try to bring it over a bit further when I'm doing a vintage do. Once you get your part, you'll want to section off your hair to the ear. Now I'm going to put all that white hair behind me and clip that out of the way because I'll probably start at the front. And I'll see how I go if I show you how I do the back dropping things. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> so I'm just going to take all that hair, clip it. Out of the way. What have you guys been up to? What have you been watching on Netflix, HBO, Apple TV, all of those things, whichever one you have? I'm still not really watching anything, although I am watching on HBO, uh, what do you call it? HBO Max? Um, oh, and I keep forgetting the title. It is about the Golden State Killer and it's about 
Haddon Oswald's late wife who pretty much did all the research that eventually led to his capture. Um, sadly she passed before his capture um, but it is fascinating. It's also part of the reason why I can't sleep at night. Um, so that's what I've been doing. As you can see I'm just sort of section, I've sectioned all that hair back and I'm going to start with a section here. You guys, I know my sections aren't perfect but when I'm doing my own hair at home I'm less particular about it because I'm lazy, you guys. Um, next thing we're going to do is talk product. This product is Obe. It is an anti-humidity spray. I like this one just sort of as a light setting spray. I know it's not technically a setting spray, but that's what I'm using. Um, sometimes when I'm doing a wet set, I'll use Lotta Body and that product is crazy. It, um, the brush out takes me a really long time when I use that product and so I don't know if it's just not right for my hair. My hair's very fine. Um, and it's also color treated so the ends are super damaged at the moment. So I feel like I need something that's a little bit more moisturizing to my hair, um, or hydrating rather. Um, so sometimes I'll use the Obey Mousse if I'm going to do a wet set. I've been playing around with a few different products. If you have products that you love using when you do a vintage style, please comment below. I would love to hear what you like and what works for you. Um, and obviously my hair is fine. So what works for me may not work for you. If you've got super thick curly hair, coarse hair, that may be a little bit different. So, you know, some of the products I recommend might not be right, but you know, jump in my comments if you need recommendations for things. I'm hitting lights over here. What's happening? Okay, so just going to spray a little of my anti-humidity spray. Give it a little comb through. So now the size of your sections that you take are really going to vary depending on the thickness of your hair. If you've got really thick coarse hair, you're going to take smaller sections. But because my hair is quite fine, you know, you can be generous with your sections. So basically you want to take like a square or oblong, whatever shape that is, and you want to get your fingers and wrap your hair around your fingers, then pinch the hair, and you want to make sure that your ends, I don't know if you can see that, are tucked into your little loop because otherwise you'll get what I like to call fish hooks. And that's not cute when you brush it out. So you want to do that and you want to hold on to your ends as you curl. So if you curl your hair going this direction, your brush out, your hair is going, like your curl's going to go. But if you go the other way, it's going to go the other way. Does that make sense? So for the purpose of this video, we want our hair to curl this way. I chop and change with the way I direct my curls um, just because I like to see what will happen. It's been so long since I formally trained at school and so like getting back into vintage sets and hair directions um, because it's not something I do often for work is something that I've just kind of recently started playing with again. My ends are so dry, so sometimes they're hard to tuck in. So you just want to make sure they're all tucked in. And then, being very careful of your fingers, you want to use your flat iron and heat up the hair. See, I've still got my little circle. And then you're going to take your clip And pop it in and you're going to repeat this over the whole head so I will do a few I probably won't show you the whole head because we could be here all day it's not going to take all day though because this is a much quicker process please hold I may need to live just give myself a little powder I feel like it's, she's getting hot in here my powder I'm using today is by Hourglass Cosmetics I like this one, you guys. It's very natural. 
Oh yeah, she's hot in here. She's like even, whoo, falling apart. All right, so next section. Tucking in your little ends, curling it around into a circle. Just remember you don't want those fish hooks. I have other tips of how to prevent fish hooks if you are doing wet sets too. So if that's something that's of interest to you guys, let me know. Jump in my comments. Let's be friends. Now to vintage lovers out there, this technique may seem crazy. You'll be like, why are you flattening the hair? But wait, wait until you see the results. That light is so close to me, I just keep hitting it. Again with my anti-humidity spray. Kiddo sniffing in the corner. I don't know what she's doing. She still hasn't eaten her breakfast. She'll probably start eating it soon, you know, just so that she can have her 15 seconds of fame. That's just how she is. She needs all the attention always. You'll meet her soon. If she comes, maybe if she comes over, I'll grab her. Sometimes when I try and grab her, she like runs because she thinks it's a fun game. I should really just move these clips closer to them myself because that would make life a lot easier. So as you can see, coming along, I'm very fortunate. Sometimes people don't think it's fortunate to have fine hair, but I kind of think it is because I feel like I can do my hair much quicker. So I feel for you guys who have very kinky curly hair because that is a lot of hair prep. I've been watching videos of... Uh, you know, natural textured hair lately. And I feel for you because that is some serious preparation and I will never complain that I have to wash my hair ever again. Okay, coming along. I actually, I would really like to know what your favorite setting lotions are um, because I do want to play with some different ones, especially when I'm doing wet sets. Also, another thing I purchased recently for my wet sets, which I'll show you, is a portable hood hairdryer. I got it off eBay and I want to say it was about, I think with postage, it maybe came to about $50, um, but they are great to use like maybe for you know 15 minutes as soon as you've done your wet set and then you go to bed and when you wake up you'll do it another 15 minutes in the morning and it just makes sure that all the hair is dry there is nothing worse than doing a wet set going to bed waking up pulling out a roller and being like oh my hair's still wet and I had the worst night's sleep for no good reason so I don't want that to happen to you all right, if you're interested in seeing me demo my hood dryer too, let me know. Vintage Vamp Fridays. These are going to be fun. Be very careful of your fingers. You can get gloves for doing hair that protect your hands from hot tools. I prefer to be able to feel my hair and what I'm doing with my actual fingers, so I risk burning myself, and that's okay. That's my choice. I choose to be burnt. All right. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing because I haven't been paying attention. Like I said, I'm still new here. I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like when it all is brushed out. Some of you are probably wondering why I felt the need to do a YouTube video um, or channel rather when none of us can go anywhere. Like why would I want to learn how to do my hair and makeup when I'm not going anywhere? Well, let me tell you, we're going to get out of this, you guys. We are going to get out. It'll be safe. 
We'll be able to run around and frolic. And we'll want to look good. So why not practice now while you're stuck at home? That can't be another garbage truck. I need to figure out the garbage truck schedule because maybe it's a street cleaner. Are they still street cleaning? I don't even know. Anyway, sorry. What were we talking about? Yes. You may as well practice doing your hair and makeup now while we're all stuck inside so that when you eventually get back to going to concerts and sporting events and all those fun things that you get to do, you may as well know how to do your hair and makeup and look all cute because then you'll feel good. Because let's face it, we get ready for ourselves. That's why I get ready. All right. Those are not as neat, but they will do. Okay, so as you can see, I've done all of this side here. And we're gonna come over to this side. So hopefully you guys can see. All right. Why is my area such a high traffic for planes and things? Like there's no airport nearby. So we're following the hair. Basically you want the direction of the curls. Well, I do it anyway. This may not be everyone's style cup of tea. You want the direction to the, of the curl to sort of follow around the whole way, the same way. Does that make any sense? Am I rambling? I don't even know. This section's so tiny, it's hard to like get a grip. We'll get there. Get in there, little fish hook. I see you. All right. Don't burn your face. Don't burn your ear off. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but I don't advise you to either. You can't see this guys, but right here, just out of shot, Marcellus is sitting on the table. He just wants to hang out, be part of it, and kiddos are at my feet. But the second I try and grab her to bring her on camera, she's going to run away. I think that was a taco truck. I love how like in Australia we have Mr. Whippy, which is like the ice cream truck and over here it's usually like tacos. I think they have ice cream trucks here too, obviously, but I hear more taco trucks than I do ice cream. Okay, so while I've been waiting for my hair to set, I threw a lash on because I was feeling a little bit naked. And while I was here, I figured I would tell you guys about the lipstick that I'm wearing because they are a small company. Um, and I love this color. I've been searching for this color. I can't tell you how long. Like, I know that there's so many companies out there that do a liquid lipstick and you're like, how could, you know, this one be different from any other one? But when you're picking a lip color, what might look one shade on somebody else will look totally different on me. And I don't know if it's just that I'm blonde and I see this color on girls with dark hair and I'm like, why doesn't that look like that on me? And it looks pink. Like I've been searching for this 
brown. It's not too pink. It's got a little bit, I don't know, it's just the most awesome color. So this is a brand called Oxblood. And the color is Stone Fox. And I love it. It feels really good. I love this color, you guys. So follow them on Instagram. Order some lips if you're looking for some. Okay, so let's take out the curls. I know my placement is probably not that perfect. I am not that particular when I'm doing my own hair. I'm much better at doing it on other people. So we're just going to take out our clips. I feel like I haven't chatted to you guys as much as I did last video. Um, what's been happening? What can I tell you? Well, I'm modeling on the weekend. Um, for a while, and I don't mean to sound conceited when I say this, few people have said to me that I should consider plus size modeling. And I thought that sounds cool. And so I got photos done. I approached different agencies. And the fact of the matter is I'm five foot one and nobody wants a model my proportions. So I let go of that dream a long time ago. Um, anyway, one of my favorite brands started following me on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, you're my girl crush. And this is actually one of their tops, by the way. Um, she reached out to me and was like, hey, my model can't come because she has to travel and it's not safe to do so. Would you consider modeling for me? And I was like, oh, yes, please. So that's happening on Sunday. I don't know if I should like tell you what it's for because I don't know like if it, what we're shooting is launched or not or what the details are so you know we'll wait till the shoot and then maybe I can tell you all about it after the fact. Me, 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 me. Thank you to everyone who shared my channel on your Instagrams, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, not working right now. I don't have a lot to do. And so I really appreciate the support. Um, I know that everyone's going through it in different ways. So it's really nice to see people coming together for each other during this time. I don't know why I decided to do a hair tutorial when it is so hot today. Like literally, I don't know if this is gonna hold because my head is sweating, which is really gross. I'm sorry, you probably don't wanna know that. It's just a fact. How many more clips are in my hair? Get out of there. You're not welcome. She's a hot mess. What's happening? Let's see if this actually works out. Or well, this video will go by the wayside. Okay. So this is what we look like. Now, like I said, a lot of the brushes that I have are ones that didn't make it into my pristine kit for work. And so I always end up with the ones that have been like scuffed and have been loved. This one's a Harry Drosh brush. It could use a clean, don't judge me. Um, this will work, a flat paddle brush will work. Decide what works for you, better for your hair, thickness, all that stuff. So we're just gonna brush from underneath. And we're going to use our hand to sort of smooth the curl. You can also come in and tease after if you want more height, a little more volume.
The key with brushing out any kind of vintage set is just sort of using your fingertips and kind of coaxing it sort of where the hair decides to go itself because once it's set that's how it's going to be so don't try and force it into a shape that it doesn't want to be you've just got to kind of play around and see where it wants to fall I feel like today my hair because I've been too hot it may not hold the way I would like it to but you can get the idea of how this works again with that light why do you keep attacking me <laughs> so you can see it's kind of starting to take shape sometimes I like to brush out the part line and just find it again so that it doesn't look as stiff and it gives you a bit more body So as you can see, like this is a great trick for on set when you don't have, like say you're working with a client, if you're a hair and makeup artist, and you want to do a vintage set on them, but you don't, like, you're not going to go to their house the night before, put them in a wet set and let them sleep in it, because that's not fun for anyone. Um, so this is like a great way to get that look without the time involved of doing a wet set and like if you're interested guys I can do a video of how to get like another vintage vibe using a curling iron let me know jump in my comments so once you start liking the shape you want to come in with these duck bill clips that I talked about earlier. And you just want to throw them in where you want your curl to sit. So any sort of peaks, any valleys if you will. So this would be a peak, this would be a valley. Peaks and valleys. And that will help keep the shape that you want it to be. And you can sort of pinch it with your fingers and then use your brush below to keep getting that shape that you want. coming along we're getting there getting there I might actually come in now this is my Orbe fine hairspray I'm just gonna a little bit of fly away in that area that I just wanna coax sometimes too with your hairspray if you feel like it goes super crunchy when you spray it straight onto the hair you can actually spray it onto your hairbrush and then brush it through and that just distributes the product a little softer also guys if any of the products I use aren't accessible to you let me know kiddos growling let me know because I can re recommend something that will work in a similar way if I can I will do my best so jump in my comments if you have any questions about anything. So once you have your hair clipped sort of in the desired position of how you want it to look, you're gonna wanna come back in with your hairspray. Give it a good spray. I don't know about anyone else, but I buy hairsprays based on how they taste. Like there's certain hairsprays out there that if you get it in your mouth, it's like, Just me? <laughs> so then you're going to use your hairspray and hold it like this and just push in your little valleys with the bottle and that way it's flattening and smoothing without 
sticking to your hand. I keep getting the theme song to Goldfinger stuck in my head and I don't know when that started or why, but every now and then I just break into <laughs> don't know if you needed to know that. Um, if you find that you still do have some flyaways, you can come in with a softer comb or maybe a teasing brush and just smooth any of the areas that you feel like you need smoothing a little bit more. Okay, so usually once I do this part, I leave my clips in for a while and I wander around and I do things. I might put my lips on if I didn't do that already. And then once you're ready, you can take them out. Just be very gentle. I was not that gentle because I'm not good at being gentle. Okay. Okay, my vintage vans, what do we think? Hollywood glamour. You could also, if you wanted to, like pin this behind the ear if you like it more behind the ear. You can play around with that, whatever you prefer. If you're not into your ears, you can bring it back out, cover them up. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel again. Please keep coming back and please subscribe. It's the little pink bee that you see at the bottom of the screen that pops up throughout my videos. Um, please comment. Let's chat. I love to chat. I've got nothing but time on my hands. Uh, let me know if you want to see anything in particular. If you want me to Try certain products, try a certain hairstyle, let me know, comment below. Thank you for watching, stay safe out there, take care of one another, and I will see you in Blondiewood soon.